Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm filming my June beauty favorites. And I know it's been several months since I filmed a favorites video. I can't remember the last time I filmed one. I think maybe I filmed one in April or March. I'm not real sure. So it's been several months since I have filmed one. Some of the products I have never mentioned before in favorites videos, but they're also like another handful of products that I have probably mentioned in favorites videos before, but I've just really been using all these products so much like over the past several months that I just wanted to mention everything that I have been loving. The first things that I want to share with you guys probably won't seem that interesting, but I really fell in love with these products and they're great for people that have super sensitive skin. So like if your skin is really allergic to a lot of different things, I think you will find these uh, three products really interesting. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I had been having some issues with my skin and I had to go to the dermatologist and she recommended this brand to me. So I picked it up. This is the only face lotion that I have been using and I absolutely love it. I haven't had any issues with my skin flaring up with like rashes or anything like that because I was having like this really bad rash like on my eyelids and kind of like on my forehead. It's free of dyes, fragrance, masking fragrance, lanolin, parabens, and formaldehyde. It's not heavy. It absorbs really nice into the skin, but at the same time, I do find it moisturizing. And then the other two products from that brand that I wanted to mention is the shampoo and conditioner. And just like the lotion, it's formulated without all that harsh chemicals and stuff. It's sulfate free, gluten free, beatane free. I think that's how you pronounce that. I was getting a rash like right back here at the back of the nape of my neck. So that's another reason why my dermatologist recommended <laughs> the shampoo and conditioner. And that rash has cleared up. So if you have like a lot of issues with your scalp being really dry or if you have, you know, like eczema or stuff like that, like here at the back of your neck, highly recommend this stuff. I was kind of unsure about the shampoo because it's really strange. It's very, very liquidy. And at first it doesn't like suds up a lot, I guess because it doesn't have sulfate in it. And I know that sulfate is supposed to, you know, that's what makes shampoos get really like sudsy and stuff like that. I didn't know how it would work with my hair. I didn't know if it would make my hair feel really limp or if it might make it feel really dried out but it did not. It just made my hair feel really just nice and soft and clean. And with the conditioner, the conditioner is a really moisturizing conditioner, but it's not a super heavy conditioner. So like if you have really thin straight hair like me, this is not gonna weigh it down, but at the same time, it's gonna give it moisture. So yeah, the same with the shampoo. This is formulated without all those harsh chemicals. So yeah, if you have super sensitive skin, highly recommend this stuff and I have been enjoying it. Like I'm just about out of the conditioner. Like I need to pick another bottle of this up. I've just like really blown through this. Sometimes I also like to use this as a shave cream for my legs as well. So that's kind of like a thing that I like to do. I like to use conditioners as also like my shaving cream. So another product that I have been loving is this Biore, I always feel like I say that weird, Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence. <clears throat> I feel like my throat's really dry and kind of scratchy today. I think it's because last night Josh and I we went and did karaoke and I don't really sing a whole lot and I feel like I kind of strained my vocal cords probably because I wasn't singing right. And this product is actually from Japan. Like, I don't know if you can see on the back, like you can't read anything on the back because it's all in Japanese. I heard about the sunscreen from Lisa Lisa D1. I had been on the hunt to find a good sunscreen to wear in the summertime underneath foundations that would not irritate my skin and also didn't make my skin feel like oily and greasy. You know how some sunscreens are actually a lot of sunscreens. Like if you try to use them under, under your foundations, they just feel really heavy and it just makes your foundation like I don't know just be really greasy and kind of move around on your face it just seeps into the skin really nice it's almost like a lotion it's unlike any sunscreen I have ever used before and it has a nice fragrance to it it's it's a really great product it feels really hydrating but it doesn't feel greasy at all very lightweight and it works really great I've used it at the pool several different times and I haven't gotten burned at all so yeah 
if you're looking for a good sunscreen that is not greasy and won't like interfere with your foundations highly recommend this I got it on Amazon so I'll link down below where you can get it all these products that I'm mentioning today if I can find links to them I will link them down below for you guys so yeah been loving this it's really starting to rain outside so I'm sorry if you can hear that in the video okay another product which I'm not for sure if I've mentioned this in the favorites video or not I don't think that I have but the Too Faced sweet peach palette my mom picked this up for me like back when Sephora was having their VIB sale a couple months ago I guess in April and she got this for me back then I know that this palette has really been hyped up a lot on YouTube so I didn't really know how much I would enjoy this because I have the Too Faced like chocolate bar palette and the semi sweet palette and I don't really reach for those palettes very much at all but ever since my mom bought this for me I just loved it so much like I instantly loved it so I love this one so much more than the chocolate bar palettes so if you've been on the fence and you don't really know which Too Faced palettes to pick up highly recommend this one especially if you like warmer colors and I feel like this is perfect for the summertime also the wedding makeup that I did a couple weeks ago I used this palette like on the bridesmaids and it looked so so beautiful I don't know I just really like a lot of the colors in here you can create a lot of different looks there's a lot of really pretty warm colors and I don't know yeah I just really like it you've got a lot of good mattes and a lot of good like shimmery satiny colors in here and I love the way that it smells I love the peachy smell it smells so good the packaging is super cute so I picked up this highlighting palette from the balm which has Mary luminizer Cindy luminizer and Betty luminizer it has the three like highlighters in here which honestly the only one that I can use as a highlight is this one this is more of like a blush and this is like a bronzer so but the main reason why I wanted to get this was for Mary Luminizer because I hear so many people rave about this. I picked it up at Kohl's and I've actually had this little palette for a while now. Like I think I got it at the beginning of this year but I've forgot to mention it to you guys in favorites videos and use it in tutorials because I've had it over at my boyfriend's house. I just leave it over there like I have a makeup bag of stuff that I just leave at his place and this was one of the things that I just left at his place. So so I never had it to share to share it with you guys in videos but yeah I just love this I have um, the Mary Luminizer on today it's just such it's such a beautiful highlight like it's a beautiful champagne gold like it's not too gold and it's not too champagne it is so so pretty and I think that this was like a pretty good deal to get all three of these together and I do actually use the other two like I said I like to use this one for a blush and then sometimes I like to use this as a bronzer not so much as a contour because it's pretty like shimmery I don't know if you can see on my finger there if you were a darker skin tone though that would probably be a really pretty highlight um so yeah that's all three of those swatch there on my finger and I'll just swatch them here on the back of my hand so you can see them but yeah like I said I picked this up at Kohl's so I think that's where you can get it. I'll try to link it online if they still sell it. I know I've been more like into the whole natural makeup look recently. And another product that I have been loving, which I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before in favorites videos, but this is the only foundation I have been using for like the past two months. But this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation and Concealer. But the reason why I really like this is because it just gives your skin a really nice, natural, dewy finish. It has really great coverage. It doesn't irritate my skin at all. Because like I told you guys, I've been having issues with that. Um, so yeah, the ingredients in these products are really, really good. I find that it is long wearing on me, even though it's more of a dewy, luminous type of foundation. And when I first got this foundation, I think I told you guys that I wasn't like a big fan of the dropper thing, but I actually like the dropper now because I feel like it really gets all the last little bits of the foundation out. Like once you get towards the bottom, which I am, I've only got about like that much of the foundation left because I've been using it so much my shade in the foundation is in fair light neutral and my shade and the concealer is in the shade light and also too with the concealer if you haven't seen it before it just has like a large doe foot applicator 
like the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, which I want to get that concealer so bad, but every time I go to Ulta, they're out of my shade, so I need to order it online so I can try it out. Okay, another thing that I have fallen back in love with is my NARS Laguna Bronzer. I think you can hear a little tree fog, tree frog outside. I think I may have mentioned this in my last favorites video that I posted, but I have just been using the heck out of this if you guys couldn't tell. Um, but it's just one of my all time favorite bronzers. It's just beautiful. I'm um, using that bronzer today. It looks really great on people with really fair skin to medium skin tones. It's really, really pretty. If you have a deeper skin tone, the NARS Casino is also a really good bronzer. But I don't know. It's just a staple. It just looks natural. Like it has a little bit of like a sheen to it. So it looks really nice and natural on the skin. Because sometimes really flat matte bronzers can just make you, it can just look kind of chalky. But this does not do that at all. I do want to pick up some of the um, Physicians Formula Butter Bronzers. I've heard a lot of really great things about those. So if you guys have picked those up, let me know which shade would work for me. Because I know, I think they have like a lighter one and like a medium colored one. So you'll have to let me know, you know, if you're the same shade as me, which one to pick up. Okay, for brows, I have been back in love with my NYX Micro Brow Pencil, and this is in the color Ash Brown. This is just my favorite pencil for my brows. It's affordable. I really like the color of it. I know that I also have mentioned like the L'Oreal Brow Pencil and um, the Maybelline one, and I do like those, but I think I like the NYX one better just because I really enjoy this shade on me. It's just the perfect brown. Like if you have light to medium brown hair, this is just like the perfect brow pencil. I think even if you had blonde hair, you could get away with this. Like if you had like dirty blonde hair, it's just a great color. And yeah, I go through so many of these. Um, so yeah, I just, I love that. And then another thing that I have been using a lot and just falling back in love with is this L'Oreal Brow Stylist Brow Plumper. I have several different brow gels that I really like. I really like the Benefit Gimme Brow and I also really like the um, Essence Make Me Brow. Those are other brow products like brow tinted brow gel products that I really enjoy but I don't know. I've just fallen back in love with this. I just like the shade of it. It has a little bit of a shimmer sort of in it which I know me swatching it on my hand you can't really see it because I'm getting to the end of this it's starting to get a little bit dried out. but. I don't know. It just gives a lot of depth to your brows. I feel like it makes your brows look really full and fluffy and sets them in place. So yeah. For lashes, the two things that I have just been loving so much. First is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. If you've been watching me for a little bit, you know that this is one of my favorite mascaras. This has got like the special packaging on it. Normally it comes in like a dark purple kind of tube. Um, it just has like a normal bristle brush to it. It's one of those mascaras that's a really great buildable mascara. It doesn't flake, it doesn't smudge. Um, and what I like to do is, is I like to put several coats of it on my lashes, let it dry, and then go in with a metal eyelash curler, heat it up with my blow dryer, and then curl my lashes up, which is what I did today. And it just gives my lashes a really pretty full false lash effect look. To my lashes so that's why I really like this mascara it just works really well with that technique and then the other products that I have been loving for lashes are these false lashes by kiss and these are the look so natural look so natural flirty lashes and these are like my go-to lashes I just really really like these they make your lashes look so full and flirty and I don't know I just really like them I do have to cut these down quite a bit to fit my eyes because my eyes aren't super big um, but yeah they just look really pretty dramatic but at the same time just I don't know they look really good and then the last thing that has just been a favorite for me is painting and I've been getting back into painting and I showed you guys on snapchat that I painted this really pretty ocean wave 
and I don't know I just really like this painting and I've just really been getting back into painting again and I think what I want to start doing and you guys will have to let me know if you would be interested in this or not but I want to if I can paint a lot of different paintings I think I'd like to start my own website where I sell my paintings on the website so if that would be something you guys would be interesting interested in buying from me like paintings that I paint let me know down in the comments and I will hopefully be able to do that um, I don't know I just really want to get into painting but it's really hard to find the time to do it but it's something that I absolutely love and I was just curious to know what you guys thought if you guys would be interested in buying my paintings um, so yeah just really really like this and I've showed you guys before that I've went to like this place it's called Uptown Art which is like a local place and I know that other cities have these where you go with like your girlfriends or just like you know on a date or whatever and they you can get glasses of wine and then they have a painting instructor there and they have all the paints and you just like paint and have wine it's a lot of fun and I know that Josh and I we've done those several different times and I just have so much fun whenever I go to those so I guess it's like another favorite um, so yeah, but I hope that you guys did enjoy this favorites video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and you guys will have to let me know down in the comments what have been your favorites over this past month of June or just like what your favorites are in general. Hopefully next week I can film, um, film and post that classic bridal makeup tutorial and just leave down in the comments any other like suggestions that you guys have for me to film. Thanks so much for all of your love and support. Thanks so much for watching this and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.